16, a Zigbee in-wall switch. This lets you control the on-off function of the connected load. Mini size, easy to be installed into a standard size wall box. Let's add the switch to Azula. First, open the Azula app and click to add a new device. Then press the reset button on the device five times. When the light flashes, you'll know it's added successfully. Done. Now you can control the lights. It also has active power and energy metering functionality. Just long press to enter the device page and check it out. Go to the editing page and find the advanced options. Here you can change the external switch type. It supports push button switches, normal on and off switches, and three-way switches. Hey Siri. Once you've added the Azula Hub to your HomePod, you can control it through Apple Home or even hey, use Siri, Siri voice on commands. Hey Siri, turn on the switch. Remote control setup. To control with the remote first, you need to add it to Azula. Click to add a device, then long press the power button on the remote until the indicator lights up. Next, click S1 to enter pairing mode. Once it's successfully added, bind the remote to the switch by long pressing it. We'll connect it to group one. After that, you can use the remote to control everything and all the other functions will still be available. Door sensor automation. Now let's set up the door sensor for automation. First, add the door sensor to Azula, click to add a device, then long press the button for five seconds, or you can reinstall the battery. Once it's added, go to the smart page to set up your automation task. We've set up two automations here. When the door opens, the lights turn on, and when the door closes, the lights turn off. Let's see how that works. Everything else is working normally. To control with the green power switch, you need to pair it first. Just click the reset button on the device four times, then press any button on the switch four times. When the light flashes, you know it's paired successfully and you can start controlling the lights. This green power switch runs on batteries, so it barely uses any power. The batteries can last for years. The device also supports touch link pairing, so you don't need a Zigbee hub. Just click the reset button on the device four times, then select a group on the remote and long press until the indicator lights up and starts flashing. Bring the two devices close together, wait a moment, and when the light flashes, you know they're paired successfully. After that, you can control the lights. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.